everybody. Today we are in a new movie review, and in particular for a movie that I was waiting for a long time, which is the third chapter of the trilogy of Rob Zombie, started with uh, The House of the 1000 Corpses and The Devil's Reject. This movie has been made 15 years after The Devil's Reject, so of course everybody was waiting for it when it was been, uh, has been announced. Uh, because actually, until the date of uh, when it was been, uh, was announced, nobody would have imagined that it was a trilogy. Since this movie uh, ended, since the previous chapter ended in a way that, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but ended in a way that uh, nobody could have uh, ever imagined about uh, about a third movie. But actually, the third movie came out, and I was really impatient to see it. I I didn't find it in a, easily because. Uh, at least in Italy, it didn't uh, arrive. I think there is only the version with subtitles, so I needed to buy the DVD waiting a uh, normal price because there was only Blu-ray at 30 euros at the beginning, so I waited for a normal DVD uh, for having it. And here we go, so what about this movie? So you can see uh, two actors, I mean, Sherry Moon Zombie and I don't remember, uh, Bill Mosley that are in the other two chapters, so characters we started to love, I hope uh, us as a, as a fan of uh, Rob Zombie and a fan of the other two movies uh, but we don't see Captain Spaulding but we see a third actor that if you, if you have seen 31, which I did a movie review uh, it's, uh, it, yeah, it's the guy at the beginning of 31 um, so what about this movie? for me it's not at the same level of the other two from a script and a plot point of view in a sense that this movie has really, really reduced and simplified uh, plot, uh, which could be even summarized in the first uh, in the first minute, in the sense that the three devils have has survived the shooting at the end of the previous movie. Uh, they they get healed in a hospital. They are sent to prison, and somehow they escape. Uh, actually, Captain Spaulding, since the actor could not. Uh, act he did just uh, some scenes but then uh, Rob Zombie decided to substitute him with the, with the third uh, third uh, character which is uh, I think the brother or the cousin of Bill Mosley which is uh, again of course a crazy crazy person and, uh, and well so they escape and it's the story of them uh, what they do after having escaped so that's finished this happened in the first uh, really in the first minutes and all the rest is like violence killing uh, mayhem and uh, craziness and madness uh, Rob Zombie uh, I really appreciate the fact that he really kept this, the same style of the other movies he is really coherent in, the, in his style, in his way of uh, directing, in his way of uh, uh, writing the script and writing the, the speech and, in, and uh, in the atmosphere he wants to create so an horror movie with some black humor something that could be funny, uh, something that is also a bit weird so super coherent to the other movies, so this is a big, uh, big point for him uh, and what I can see also is that he improved a lot the, um, the yeah, I mean he did experience you know, in these years so he improved a lot the, the details he put in the, in the movie if you see the movie, you, you, you can see scenes that are really, really uh, super detailed, uh, I'm speaking about the clothes of the characters, the scenarios in fact I've seen the extras that is in the DVD which I suggest you to, to watch and you can really see the, yeah, the, the importance he was giving to even to single details to, to the blood, to, to the scenarios yeah, where, he, where he, made, he made the movie it's quite impressive that he did this movie in only 20 days uh, so really reduced sch schedule and also really reduced budget so the budget was not so high let's say for a classical Hollywood movie uh, but he did it and 20 days is incredible so let's say that uh, you should see this movie if you have of course if you have already seen the other two and if you appreciated them and if you if you love the characters otherwise it doesn't really make sense uh, and that's it so in the end uh, is a movie that is quite satisfactory I preferred clearly the other two much more the other two I have to say but uh, maybe I will change my mind so maybe I will uh, rewatch again this movie and maybe I will change my mind because uh, from a directing and style point of view it's very cool let's say it's, uh, it's, it's not very cool from a plot and uh, point of view and also I have to say the Sherry Moon Zombie uh, that of course she's the wife of Rob Zombie and she's still very beautiful she's really overreacting uh, over in this movie I noticed this 
And Rob Zombie is not hesitating to, to film every detail of her, to show probably how much he loves her, he loves her how much he, he likes her physically. But okay, we know the director, so we don't consider this a, as a defect. Uh, what else I can say? Uh, nothing else. I will wait uh, for new movies of Rob Zombie because the director that is really authorial, so you could see, you could notice uh, his way of directing. So this is very uh, difficult for uh, today for a horror director because a lot of horrors look the same. Uh, but this movie is uh, not at all as others. So if you like violence, if you like action, go for it, go for it. So see you in the next video and waiting for a new Rob Zombie movie.